Good morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. Man, what a absolutely gorgeous day. Oh, it's beautiful. We're going to start the day off with uh, some assembly required. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready for today's marching orders? Yes, I am. We are back out here on the job where we filled in a lake for Farmer Chris down there. And as you guys will see in a little bit, we got some serious water bleeding out of the ground. We a good spot for a pond down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've, uh, so long story short, we're going to put in some field tile. But we've got our boot back from the machine shop. Which I was pretty impressed on the return time on that. That, that was, uh, I guess, in real life, what, about a week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not bad at all, so... They did set this thing up in multiple jigs and uh, found out it had multiple problems. So it was, when I get this right, it was 15 sixteenths of an inch off, like crooked. Yeah. Uh, it was like three quarters of an inch off this way, which is what would make it pull hard. Yep. And it was six inches short. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much every way imaginable was incorrect. Yep. But, gotta give Justin and the boys credit. They uh, they owned up to it. They didn't ask any questions. They cut her apart. Took their time to figure it out right. I don't know if it's the prettiest job in the world, but uh, it don't really matter if it works, right? That's right. And we're going to find out yep. where she works. And we also, we got all kinds of question marks this morning because this is the bucket that Clint from CNC Equipment brought us. Got our machine down pins and our spacers in there. Hopefully that works. Mm -hmm. But first thing first, we got to put the tile plow back on back the building. So I'm thinking... I set the tile plow on the dozer, and then once it's on the dozer, we'll take that boot out, put this boot on, and then I don't even want to talk about what Farmer Chris left us. No, 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 no. No good words right now. I am very disappointed in him. That. If I had to say anything, it'd be a lot of beeping. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of beeping. Either yeah, way. There there's is. no way around the beeping. <laughs> Uh, uh, fortunately, there's a truck blocking the mess that's on the other side of it. You guys are just going to stay yeah, tuned for that. That's going to be one of them, move that truck, <laughs> move that truck. <laughs> and then you're going to move the truck and you're going to be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lawnmower, not a car. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's get this, uh, let's get this tile plow on. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, you dropped. No. Yeah, you did. The Hyundai dropped. I <laughs> Expert pin alignment right there. Look at that. Look at All right. Yeah, the beater. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I turned it all the way around. <laughs> there you go. I think you went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that makes a big difference. That's what let me happens. Tell you. That's what happens whenever you don't listen. Oh. All right, so now what's always happened in the past, I just fold it forward, slide those pins in, and whammo, bammo, we're good to go. All right, which way do they go? Oh, we go one way. All right, we're ready. Hey, you got to drop this thing down so I can put that pin in? <laughs> Waiting on you. Ready? Yep. No, other way. All right, hold that. I can't see it's too high, but they can. Think they can tell me if it's there? Yeah, two months. Too high? Nope, needs to go down more. Down more? Right like that. Yeah, hold that. Ah, uh, you know what? Special pin for special place, isn't it? No, they're all the same. They're all new. Won't go in the, uh... I think you're wrong. Ah, here it is. It's this one right here. I know for a fact. Told you. 
Guess you're buying dinner again today. All right, there's one. Now, needs to kind of come back. Up, back to you a little bit. Back, back to you. Up, oh, hold that. Wiggle it a little bit. Other way. It's so close. Okay, go back again. Now back this way a little bit. You went just a touch too much. Hold that. Anyway, you can go straight up. Now back. Oh, too much. Hold that. Bam, right there. Okay. We have a discussion. We have a discussion meeting. If you look what he did, he put these pins back in. Well, that pin is not gonna come out. I told him not to do that, but did he listen? No, he didn't listen. I love it when you're silent. I really love it when you're silent. Didn't so what you do here? I didn't think Matt was on this job. <laughs> <laughs> this was your, remember whenever I told you? Why are you putting that all back in I there? I was in charge of this. You're in charge of this. But you did that. So, I now. I didn't lose the pin. You know my idea is? We're going to cut it. So you go get your grinder or sawzall, and you're going to cut it. And after you cut it, I hope you got an extra pin to put in there. Common air. I don't know what your issue was. That coming out just fine. Yeah, it did. I bet it's going to go back in just oh, fine. Oh, boy. Too. Now we uh -oh. got no, he, may, he might just want to leave. You just want to go ahead and have him leave now? I'd hate to see a little kid beat up a big boy like him. Oh, look. Oh, they come. They come. Oh, look. He they brings come. a bodyguard they with come. him. They come tag to Oh, him. look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd bring back up too if I was you. Aaron said it might be in your best interest just to leave. We'll take care of it. You don't want to hear our cussing. Oh, we'll give him a half a day off. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's renegotiate this. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you didn't have, you didn't have that on uh, video me doing this NASCAR speed, did you? I'm up first, Rodeo. You've been a rookie since you came back from vacation. I'm sorry, but I can only give you a six and a half on that landing. Landing was a little rough. Vacation ruined you. Your landing was still better than Chris's towel. <laughs> All right, Chris has brought us a bucket of pieces and parts we're going to need for later. That'll work out. Look at that long bell. I'd probably have to bring that up for you. He's a bad <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
sitting on your tool. Farmer Chris, let's hope it works this time. Sounds like I'm working with a bunch of handicaps. Yeah, I don't think he's going to take credit for those welds. I take credit for that. <laughs> Now, the bottom pin goes where? The bottom pin goes in first. Yeah, this is the bottom. Hey, uh. You need to go in some more. Yeah, what it is. Come up a little bit. That, there you go. Now it's coming in. There you go. So, and slide plates. Yeah, your slide plates are good back here. Uh, get the hammer. Where'd you do the hammer? I thought you had a hammer. Yeah. We didn't, uh, we didn't time my bolt either. I got a pipe wrench. We got a pipe wrench to turn it. Yeah, go ahead and drive her in. All right, up a little. Up, hold that. Now up a little more. Hold that. Oh, your bolt needs to go up and down if you can. Yep. 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 Nope, a little more. A little more. Right there. Might have come in just a pack. Shoot some uh, grease through this before we take off with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think we need to. Right, let me, uh, Jerry's car's here. Why don't he enjoy the entertainment? <laughs> he, he's smart enough to stay down here out of his way. He's ready for some. He's ready for some tile. He's about flooded out he's down there. He's ready for tile, huh? <laughs> All right, Farmer Chris, we're gonna give this thing a quick greasing, then we're gonna go deal with your monster down there. Is it a monster? <laughs> it well, Aaron took the monsters out of a Friday. It don't look like any fun any way you shake it. Is it a combine trap? Are we going to be back up here this fall? No, I'm talking about your roll of tile. Oh, that roll of tile. I thought you about leaving that mud hole. No. Your, your grease ain't done good there. It helped if I get off the hose. Yeah. You ain't even... You wasn't far to help loading it. It only took me three hours to get it on there. Well, since you're an expert at loading it, you should be the expert. You take that ratchet strap off. It's going to come that's off what, itself. That's what we're going to have you here for. Because <laughs> I know how this is going to go. That's what I thought we had Aaron here for today. Aaron's seen that and first words out of his mouth is, I'm going home. <laughs> Now 
man. I love Old Thunder. <laughs> that is so much nicer. So yes. much nicer. And we got uh, we got a little upgrade for Thunder we need to get on her. Yes, we do. Yeah, that'll be uh upcoming video, yes, hopefully at some will. point. So all right, we got oh, the uh oh, <laughs> we got the 850 all grease, including the blade. Uh kind of looked it over, made sure it's good to go. Did the same thing with the 210. This is kind of the first time these two machines have really been ran hard uh this year, so just kind of making sure everything's in tip top shape. The last thing we need to do before we go put some tile on the ground is hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the bucket that Clint and the boys built. Hopefully it'll fit on this machine. I don't. I think all of his pin spacing and everything's right. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. It's pretty tight right in here. I'm just hoping that, that don't bite us, which that's not Clint's fault if it does, but we'll slop in on there and see what happens. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, you had about an inch clearance. Oh, yeah. We were finally ready to go do something. We're going to walk over the hill. I got the 210. Aaron's got the 850. Chris is down here. We're going to try to, uh, well, we got some extra hands here, figure out what we can do. It's an absolute mess of tile on this car. We'll figure it out. Let's do it. Tell it slides up and down the boot a lot better. Now, can I explain something real quick? It's I brought the tile to the field. I'm headed home. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is about like that hill, Chris, out there at the fairgrounds. It really looks a lot worse than what they can see. <laughs> I would agree with that. Are you, are you sure taking that off is your best decision right now? Well, we're going to have to get off there some way. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to go well. No. Where'd you find this slain on the side of the road somewhere? You're the one that took it off the tall cart last year. I know. <laughs> I, no. I don't recall that. Oh, let the fun begin, boys. Oh. I feel like we're like getting ready to like, you know, whenever they dump like a thousand piece puzzle out on the table and yeah. scatter it, I think that's what's about ready to happen whenever we pull on that piece of pipe. I found the end. <laughs> well, My whole top's getting ready to blow I'm pretty bit. sure. God. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What we got there? Go easy and see what happens. Where did Dan go to? Right here. Got a here. I got a question for you while we're all here. Which half of this tile cart's mine right now? <laughs> well, part of yours is missing. The black part. <laughs> I, I think the part with the seat on it's my half up there right today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is not going to be pretty. You think we're going to come out from under there? That's the wrong end. No, that, no, that is the wrong end. Where's, yeah. the, where's the other end, Farmer Chris? It's in the center on the top. Oh, boy. Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's pulling out the center. Yeah. 
That's that's the last piece we need. <laughs> I think it's it smashed under there, to tell you the truth. Oh, All right. Hey. What are you doing laying down on the job? That's farmer Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I love it, Chris. Making him work. Making him earn that money today. I don't think this is the way. You, oh, hey, I, come on, do something I under there. I had mine and put these holes down here for the tile cart. No. There we go. Let's <laughs> come. Oh. No, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Hold on. Get situated. Oh, that's my foot again. Get out of there. All right. All right. Now, I think we can go one more time Good like work. that, though. Yep. yep. Be trying to tell me, stay down here. Take off that way with the tile bug. Just pull out. Just pull this tile out. Yeah. That's one, maybe two more times. This way, I'm Jobs. I'm glad I'm videoing. Call it again. Your feet ain't long enough to reach up there and push up on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah. We've already got more off there than I thought we were going to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting so lucky right now. <laughs> What a mess. I can't believe it. I went better than I thought I was going to. Yeah, but you know, sometimes Chris, even when it comes to hauling the tile, maybe he needs <laughs> to leave that to the pros too. All right, we're gonna plow this up there to him, cause uh, cause not. <laughs> the sad part is I'm almost out of GoPro battery. I know it. All right, let's get plowed up there to him, and we'll uh, we'll see what goes. I need to get caught up with him so I know I know how much tile we need to go around that corner. Yeah, we're on the roof, baby. And I'll test out the new tile boot. I can already tell on the first 10 feet that thing's going to play better. Good, good deal. All right, let's get caught up with Chris and see what we got. You might get it. Might put a in it <laughs> Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> oh. Just get that one dog knot out of there, we'd be all right. <laughs> you wanted a little cardio exercise today, didn't you? That's it, right there. I don't know uh, I don't know how 
far as salvage go, just dig the start ditch. Dig the start ditch back, yeah. Back to the edge of the field. We got a small little wet spot here. We got some water bleeding out over there. Some water bleeding out over there. We're just going to basically plow a V up through here. And Drain double, double sided. Hopefully it catches it. We done it on a farm last year. It worked really well like this. Yeah. Chris, I definitely would have lost the bet it was going to come off this easy. I would have too. I would have too. I didn't think we had a chance in a million years. A little more. He got lucky. You got lucky, huh? Okay, it all come off. The only piece we had to cut off was that very first piece we yeah. did. Yeah. That's probably 100 foot he needs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is 100 <laughs> foot short, but man, he he's closer than what I thought. So, all right, we got the laser set up here. You guys can see we got water just popping out of the ground everywhere. So we're gonna try to come right across the top of it, intercept it all, and then maybe kind of hook around and somewhere we got to tie onto that pipe. So, man, we got to look at him. Empty <laughs> towel cart and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, you guys all set up ready to plow uh i think so all we gotta do is turn the laser on set it if you like it let's do it all right Aaron's giving us a little assistance to get through this soft spot here kind of see what we're fighting the mud a little bit tall plow is doing so much better The funny part is the tile plow is now straight, but the uh, tops on tops on I don't think really matters. That tile boot is a huge improvement. That's good. Over what we That's had good. before. Only thing that's a little bit goofy is the feeder on top. It's now a little bit cockeyed, yeah. but we can live with that. We can live with that. It. Uh, they got to explain that you know, if they if somebody just came up and looked, they said no, it's still pulling real <laughs> no, bad. No, it's uh, it's plowing. This is not an ideal scenario to test it in. We'll have we'll have some other spots open on the farm we can do it, but uh, that's yeah. pretty good. I guess uh, we need to figure out how Spaghetti Junction is going to work here. Now we kind of made the uh, government decision just to plow plow straight through that tile. I guess we need to dig this up. We need to get this tile hooked into that tile. And we need to find it again because we're going to put in a dry dam up there. Okay. Does that all make sense? So you're putting a dry dam right up here? Yeah, pretty much where your truck's at. Oh, okay. Somewhere up in there. Gotcha. Put the tile up there somewhere. If we had that AMI radar bucket. I know. I know. We just keep getting... <laughs> have to talk to Jeff. Yeah, all right. we need to get with Jeff. Let's, uh, let's dig up Spaghetti Junction here and see what we got. Chris left us the perfect amount of tile. You guys can see this water bleeding out here. We got in just above it, so onward. Honestly, don't know for sure what's what or where's where here, so I'm gonna dig down and find our new tile we just put in first. And then we'll, then we'll see if we can locate that old tile if we don't find it in the process. it up here and then the tees that's uh, the and the coupler so there's the old tile which is draining there's yep. the new tile which is deeper which is good good <laughs> so we basically just need a coupler and a t and we're good to go yep all right we round you up some pieces and parts all right all right while well, i'm waiting for pie <laughs> oh, this is what i gotta deal with <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah now hurry up and get my other pieces i got water hey the uh new ranger is much more convenient yes it is i'm in behind the scenes 
that connection went pretty well. Somebody around here drinks Pepsi. We'll kind of pick that up before we bury it. Yeah. I think what we need to do to get this hole filled in, I'm going to dig that out right there. It's a little dry. That was a big old nasty muddy saw pole. Yep. And then we're going to go up here and see if we can relocate that towel again. Put a riser on. Sounds good. All right. You and Jerry think you can handle plowing out that last 10 feet of tile? I think so. <laughs> Trying to be gentle to cover this up. Some loose dirt so we don't collapse any pipes. It is super nice having a bucket. We can use plenty of field towel in the 210, but we'll have to admit, the 120 is a much nicer size for this style of work, but don't justify dragging in another machine for something we can do with this one. I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but we dug a big hole right here to kind of catch all that water that's coming out of that tile while we were filling in this filling in this pond. And it's got just a bunch of soupy mud in it now because it's been draining in there the last couple days. I'm gonna throw it out here and let it kind of dry. That way we can get it filled in with some good stuff and we don't have a big old combine trap for old Farmer Chris. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Come here. Jerry's got that under control. He's kind of cleaning up behind us. We're going to try to find the top. That out of that boot. That's crazy. We're going to try to find that tile. Our best guess is it's somewhere right in here. Like I said, I wish I had that radar bucket. We could just scan it. We know exactly where it's at, but we're going to go old fashioned way and see if we can find it without hitting it. Hey, tell me I'm good without telling me I'm good. You're all right. I'm all right. Look at that. Nailed it! Perfect. Yeah, you said it was going to be back a foot. You were off. But I still found it without damaging it. <laughs> I know, I got sidetracked in here. Yeah, you know? <laughs> laughed at me. Uh -huh. I say we uh, expose that right there. Yep. Let's take that little section of tile we got left and kind of run us a run us a little riser up right over in there somewhere. Alright. We'll go for good. This goes up and loops around and then somewhere right in there is a T that heads that way. So. I like it. All right. How good are you? Huh? I say you just go ahead and cut, and then uh, I'll see how close you are. Hopefully you don't miss. Hopefully I don't miss, huh? <laughs> need you to make me one of those tile cutting shovels. Yes, we need that bad. That water running down that top. What the heck? Hm. I remember my rookie days too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> I'll give you credit. That was good. That ain't no rookie cut there. <laughs> oh, now we gotta get her. Yeah. Here's the problem. See, this one was dug in with the track on. Yeah. It plowed in. Look at the pipe. It's mm. not round no more, see? Yeah. Yep. All right. What's that side on? Yeah. 
temperature. Oh, well, hit that to the strut. I think I can get somebody wet. Yeah. Hey. I think it was your viewers you got okay. wet. Hey, that was, was a good, good job. job. That was a good job. I'm proud of you. It's not the result right. you're hoping to have on video. Yeah, clothes. no one. <laughs> <laughs> Man behind the scenes. That's my uh, second guess. It's pretty doggone close. Oh, it's pretty close, yeah. I dug the ditch the perfect length of the piece of towel we had. And you know what? I know it's all gray because I used my little gray control system in there. Really? Yeah. Hey. I'm getting high tech around here. Yeah, you are. I would not know where to even start with anything <laughs> like that in there. That's why you're in the ditch and I'm on top. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's fill in around that. Let's go down there and clean up that star hole and then we'll go over the go over the hill and we'll let Jerry build his dam. Sounds good. filled in around that riser basically what we do if you guys haven't caught it in the past i kind of go out four feet around that riser really good and uh, that kind of gives jerry a floor of what that dry dam needs to look like and it kind of keeps him from having to do any hand work around that riser whenever he comes back he can pretty much do everything from there with the dozer so we're going to leave this one be for jerry he can pretty much come in here and do what he needs to do. He went to grab some lunch. Before we track over the hill to do the next one, we're going to go down here and finish up our start hole and uh, check and see how much water's coming out of this pipe. It is absolutely crazy. This pipe has only been in the ground for about an hour and it is already starting to dry up. All these wet spots all the way around here, so done his job pretty good sign there should be water coming out of it as dry as what this looks absolutely crazy that yeah, pipe's only been in there for about two hours look how well she's draining so hopefully that'll dry her up pretty good all right over the hill on the next one there's the plan quick and easy you ready quick and easy we've got a great big wet spot right there we got a water source over here and a water source over here. We're going to take these two pipes, about 200 foot runs, and just kind of do a V out of our start hole here. All right. You like that? I like it. Let's hammer down. You're burning daylight.
put a cap in the end of that. You ain't no frisbee champ. Holy cow, that boot feels so much better. Got a little sloppy in there. Oh yeah, I mean, I got a little crook in it because I hit that wet spot and I wanted to turn this way anyways. But man, whenever I was down there on dry dirt just to cooking, oh, yeah. it was straight as could be. Huge difference. All right, let's uh, ready for the next one. run this one. We'll see how I went that fast. Yeah. <laughs> I think a new boot's gonna be a winner this time around. Yeah, you guys are right. really good. You wanna pull that last little bit out? I'll fill in our star hole and we got one more piece of tile to put in over the hill there. All right. These are kind of good ones for Aaron to kind of run on. The ground's sloping up pretty good, so it's more about maintaining depth than what it is, uh, you know, staying good on grade, so. Look how easy that thing slides to the ground now, man. It's crazy how those few little tweaks just make a huge difference. Hopefully we'll come back tomorrow. A little bit of luck. This will all be dried up. That's the that's the hope. I don't know if you guys heard down here with that plow chattering across that rock. Pretty good indication that's where that water's coming across. As it goes down, it can't uh, go through that rock, so it starts coming across until it builds enough pressure and pops out of the ground. So hopefully we intercepted it where we needed to intercept it, and we're good to go. You can you get there by what you just did? You're setting me up for failure. That was close. Yeah, what kind of test was that? We just about smashed 170,000 people. Yeah, we did. I did. We just had to talk about putting it on the tracks when we first got started. Well, I thought about it. I told you to stop. Yeah. <laughs> All of the paddle on this thing, and you got to put it on the tracks. Well, it traveled nice. you think you would have seen it go by. <laughs> uh, I was watching back. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Normally, I'd be very perturbed that Chris bought his two 100-foot rolls to finish this up. But after seeing the big roll he had, I'm pretty happy we got those. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't too bad. This is our last run. We're going to go about 300 foot up this ditch, put a dry dam and a riser in, and uh, let Jerry do his little smooch and stuff, and we're done. I knew I forgot something. Forgot to hit the bottom key. 
riser? And the riser. And the couplers? I got the couplers. So you'll go ahead and climb but on you know up? what I did? I brought a cap instead of the <laughs> riser. <laughs> it's not going to work very well. Uh, so, yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let's plow on up. Yep. Now we got into some pretty hard pulling here. We had to manipulate the dozer on the slick ground, so I let him have the let him have the dozer and the uh, top plow. He's just kind of maintaining depth. Not a whole lot going on there, but. Thanks to Paul and the world go. Alright, Ken, for I got a guy Mark here where we'll dig it up behind it. I see if we're getting pretty close time to the boot now, you think? Seen through the wet spot there. Uh, uh, DP towing recovery available today. <laughs> For a small fee. Maybe I can go forward a little bit. Maybe I'll get it. <laughs> Not looking good. That's the wet spot we were trying to hit, by the way. Oh, that's not dry. <laughs> Just about hit the hole. I'm glad Chris ain't here. I'm glad you are here. It's just absolutely crazy. Got water just pouring in from everywhere. There's like a layer of, I call it ground up sandstone is the best way I know to describe it. That's kind of why we were trying to push so hard to get deep with the plow up through here. But there's water coming in from that direction, that direction, that direction. This tile should do in this whole area a lot, a lot of good. And then basically we're gonna put a riser on it right here and kind of divide this ditch in half. So hopefully it quits washing down through there and. Hope so Farmer Chris can farm the whole thing. That's the goal. That's how much water is coming out of the ground. Just right here in this hole. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. That pipe's going to pay for itself in no time. Yeah, it is. All right. T. T. Camera. That is insane. Got that. Now you want this? Yep. Dang, you might need two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
There you go. You got it. I don't need to cut it off. Somewhere in there. I don't need the whole thing. There you go. There you go. Right there. Got it. Ugh. All right. There's so much water in that hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Same thing on that one we did on the last one, just kind of got everything pulled back away from it. That way Jerry can come in there and work his magic. We got a track down here to clean up this start hole and it's gonna be Jerry's baby from there. That's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes after being plowed in. Look at all the water coming out of that. Crazy. That's uh, not even that long to run a tile up through there. All right, that's pretty much it for us on this job. We're gonna get parked up and Fuel it up and get ready to move on to the next one for tomorrow. Jerry will be down here in the morning. He's going to build these few dams, clean up our little bit of mess. We'll be done, done. So I'll come back and get a little video on that and we'll call it. The next day, guys, Jerry came down here, did a little work on these dry dams, and look, it's absolutely amazing the difference. Yesterday, less than 24 hours ago, we plowed this pile of tile up through here. There was water standing everywhere. No standing water. Everything's drying out nice. Jerry got our dry dam uh placed in here almost perfect it's kind of on the rows now that we've got all this done hopefully chris will be able to just farm this straight through because he's been having to go around this whole big area right here and this should catch whatever water we got here the holes in that riser will basically do a controlled release and on down let's we'll see how much uh water is coming out of pipe down there before we head over the hill i mean it's still just flowing like absolute crazy that uh that is impressive. That towel is going to pay for itself quick. Let's go check on the other ones. Check that out. Both towels are running. It's hard to tell because it's actually coming out from underneath the towel, but both of them have water coming out of them, which is a good thing, which means going both directions was a good decision. But, uh, I mean, like I said, this is 24 hours later. This ditch, which was running hard yesterday, is already dried completely up. Just a few small pockets of standing water in those deep ruts, but it is definitely, definitely drying out. I think we got this one whooped too. All right, let's head over the hill, check on that last dry dam and the lake fill in. This is no little go-kart to get around. Don't judge. So this right here is the tile we put in a couple years ago. So you guys can see it's got uh, water running out of it pretty good. It's kind of stuck down the mud there, but it is running. That's actually a short one. It only goes up there. It went right up to the bottom of that old dam. It only goes up there maybe 100 feet. This is the tile we plowed all the way up and around and uh it's it's running pretty good jerry's got all that mud that we pushed out of the dam it's all right here smeared out dry and nice a couple days of more sun chris will be able to go right through that with the uh go right through that with a tillage tool and it'll be filled again We'll go up there and look at it from the top side, but yesterday, all those real dark spots were wet spots. The water is bleeding out of the hill. They're all gone, all dried up. There you have it. There's the last one. Jerry did a, just an absolute awesome job on this one. This one's kind of at a weird angle to the way they're gonna farm, so Jerry made it nice and rolling, so they kind of kind of clip a corner or something they can. No major issues. All the dry, wet spots up here are gone. All the wet spots all the way around are gone. It's drying out. It looks absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. I want to make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. I'd consider subscribing. That way, uh, well, we got to get all this equipment out of here. And it's not the easiest, easiest road in and out. So hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.